Hey guys, today I have something a little different than what I normally do on this channel. Um, I was listening to, I, I think it was Rick down to movie, his live stream, and well, somewhere he mentioned that uh, Joe Martinez had gotten a, a mystery box from uh, Second and Charles, which I had never heard of this um, store, and... I guess there's one about two and a half hours from me, like, uh, I think just over the border to Kentucky. Um, not going to run down there right away, um, but definitely want to check that out at some point. Um, anyway, he mentioned the mystery box, and I think the deal was 50 DVDs, for t DVDs or Blu-rays for $25, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, I'd definitely do that just to see what I got. Um... But I just happened to remember that the last time I was at a flea market, just a little north of me, that they had some grab boxes. Grab boxes? Mystery boxes. Um, and I couldn't remember what they were, what the cost was, but... So I really wasn't too sure if they'd be open or not, but I called. They said they were open. Um... And I asked about that specific booth, had to kind of tell them what I remembered about it, and they had to kind of, like, think about it. And Anyway, they eventually remembered, they knew what booth I was talking about eventually, and they looked, and there was a, a mystery box there. And their price was for 70 movies, 70 to 80 movies, 14 bucks, 13.99. So about 20 cents per movie. So that's what we're going to open today. The 70 movie box for 14 bucks. Um, like I said, 20 cents a movie. I'm trying to figure out what the worst case scenario is here. I'm going to show you the box. So here's the box. It's a pretty big box. And if you shake it, you get that. So it feels like there's some stuff on top. And then it's packed more firmly at the bottom. Um, it did not occur to me that this could be VHSs. That would be a bummer. Um, although, I don't really get the sense that that's what it is when I shake it. Um, but I also don't hear any discs really moving around either, other than the loose ones on top. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess worst case scenario would probably be um, I don't know, maybe like children's TV shows or something. But even then, like some of that might be okay. Um, oh well, here's one. It's not gonna be all loose discs, obviously, because of the size, but. If it's a bunch of DVDs that are really random, loose discs, with empty cases. I mean, really, the empty cases are worth 14 bucks, probably. But that would kind of be the letdown, right? If I pull a bunch of uh, non-art cases out of here. But, um, anyway, like I said, it's only 20 cents a movie. So, I'm going to pop this open and we'll see what we got here. Um, judging by the booth that this was in, there was really a ton of stuff. So, I really, I mean, I don't know what to expect. Um, there was some stuff that looked like, kind of like your um, Dollar General used, rewrapped stuff, like stuff. Um, Just different stuff, all kinds of different stuff. They did have a lot of TV seasons, but this does say movies, so I don't know. I don't know if I should take that so literal or not. Um, maybe there's no TV, but maybe there is. Maybe it just means discs and or. I mean, I can tell you right away, this is no joke. Like, this stuff is decent. Uh, at least this first thing I see, first couple things I see. Um, 
not mad at all about. So here's the first thing I saw. The upside. Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston. Very cool. Uh, it is a former rental from a library, so I suppose there's going to be... I was going to say some scratching. I don't know how well it will show up. There is a little bit, but not nearly as bad as I would have expected. Um, this one is pretty wild because I literally just sold this on Macari. Uh, the guy just now got it and raided me, so here's another one. Guys, some of this is really new stuff. Like, I'm really shocked by this. Holy cow. Wow. Um... Creed 2, rental, but still, St. Louis County Library again, that one looks mint though, um, wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm really shocked by how good this stuff is, the first man, or first man, Ryan Gosling, um, Damien Chazelle, it is another, it looks like we're going to get a lot of the St. Louis Library stuff, but I mean, this stuff is really good stuff. I mean, really newer stuff. What Men Want, Tracy Morgan and Taraji P. Henson. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, this looks kind of a little bit like a bootleg kind of case. The Cleveland Public Library, the Baderbeck Connection, Biderbeck Connection, Biderbeck Connection. I don't know. Um, no, I don't know what that is. But um, now, see, these are going to bug me a little bit. I don't like all this stuff all over it. Um, I mean, I get it, it's a library, but eh, it's pretty disappointing when you try to do anything with something that has stuff all over it like that. Beeswax looks pretty good on the back. Don't know too much about that one. Looks like this one. There's no... Nothing marked up on this one. And it is cliffhanger. Uh, let's see. Is this widescreen or is this full screen? It does have, it is widescreen, so excited to see that. Megan Levy. That's a newer film. Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's pretty crazy. Again, the disc looks, I mean, not even played. Uh, I guess it could have been stuff like this. Thin, thin, get thin sleeves. Um, but still, that's a, you know, interesting movie to check out. Guys and Dolls with, uh, Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra. Looks good. Um. <laughs> Birdman. It's got uh, Fred Willard in it. Uh, rest in peace, Fred Willard. Just passed away yesterday as I record this. I did not realize he was 86 years old. Looks good. Oh, that might be an interesting movie. Tom Cavanaugh. Mystery of Edwin Drood it says the chilling adaptation of Charles Dickens' unfinished final novel spins a disturbing tale of obsession, addiction, and darkness that lurks in men. 
Oh, that sounds interesting. I've never heard of it, but let me know if you've seen that. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's P, and it uh, looks like it comes from Thailand, and... Frightening film full of disturbing sexual imagery that carries a heavy message. That's from David McKendry from Fangoria. I don't know. Let me know if you've seen that. The Glory Years, a documentary review. Oh, Prince, The Glory Years. So that's pretty cool. Again, the disc looks great for a library. Wow. I, I mean, these are libraries, so I guess I shouldn't be too blown away that there's some new stuff in here. But again, disc looks great. And it's glass. M. Night Shyamalan, uh, James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I guess I've not really been talking about the films too much yet. Um, there's a Sean Bean and Eddie Redmayne, Black Death. Uh, definitely seen this one around, but I haven't seen it. Uh, I won't check all of them. They're looking pretty good so far. Yeah, so it looks like all this, as far as I can tell, is going to be DVDs. So, as long as there's actually 70 DVDs here, I'm pretty blown away by uh, by this get. Um, I mean, I know the library stuff is kind of a letdown, especially with the stuff on it, but I don't know. If people are just after the movie, I mean, it's a pretty good deal. This is Age of Shadows, Kim Ji Woon film. Um, let's see. The best Western movie of the year is a Korean thriller. I feel like I've seen this guy in something, but I, I don't know. Um, could be Train to Busan or The Wailing. Um, There was definitely one more Korean film I saw. Oh, uh, well, Bong Joon Ho, his stuff. Bong Joon Ho? What did I say? Is that what I said? I don't know. I hope I didn't say his name totally wrong there. Uh, this stuff's packed really good right now. Um, Wow, Valhalla Rising. That's a Nicholas Winding Refn film. By the way, I have no idea if I'm saying his name right. <laughs> Chappie. Uh, favorite part of this movie is definitely when he watches He Man. I have the power. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Audrey Tattoo, a very long engagement. Matt Damon, Greg Kinnear, Stuck on You. of Chucky. Hot Rod. Haven't seen that, but uh, I do like Andy Samberg. Seen that. The 
escapist. Hmm. I don't know, that looks kind of interesting. Uh, Brian Cox, Joseph Fiennes. Dominic Cooper. Well, here's a good one. Pop star, never stop, never stopping. Kind of like that. <laughs> Armstrong. Hmm. I do not know about that one. Children of Men. Graveyard Shift. It's a Stephen King adaptation. The Mummy. Brendan Fraser. Oh, The Mummy Returns. It's got The Rock in it. Scorpion King. Oops. Knocking my stuff over here. The Year of Getting to Know Us. That's Jimmy Fallon. Hmm. And Sharon Stone. I've never heard of that, but, uh... I don't know. Lucy Liu also and Tom Arnold. Hmm. That's interesting. Syriana with uh, Matt Damon and George Clooney. Ian Flynn with uh, Paul Dano and Robert De Niro. Huh. Undeniably powerful, says Peter Travers of the Rolling Stone. I, I kind of want to watch that one. Let me know if it's good, if you've seen it. Uh, Mike Berbiglia, uh, Sleepwalk With Me. Four Brothers. Uh, I watched this and I, you know, I enjoyed it for what it is. Uh, Tyrese and Andre, Andre Benjamin, Andre 3000 of uh, Outcast, and uh, Mark Wahlberg, Garrett Hedlund. Uh, that is full screen. That that would have been a bummer too if I got a bunch of full screen stuff. Sean Bean again, Age of Heroes. We're out of space to put stuff, guys. W E or We? Not really sure. Filmed by Madonna. Hmm. I feel like I have watched that before, but a long time ago. Broken City, Mark Wahlberg again with Russell Crowe. Runaway Jury, Joan, John Cusack, and Gene Hackman. Pretty cool. I like that movie. This is a pretty cool thing here. Double feature of Blair Witch Project and Cabin Fever. Both good movies, in my opinion. I am, now you might hear me sometimes say that I'm not the hugest Blair Witch fan, and I'm not, but I do think both of those are good films. 21 Grams. Uh, Martin Scorsese, Mean Streets. Um, actually, I have this, I think. Brand new, factory sealed. Another Martin Scorsese, The Aviator, Leo DiCaprio. This looks like fun. This looks like a lot of fun. The Power of the Few. No, The Power of Few. An unthinkable crime, an unlikely hero. And it stars Christopher Walken, Christian Slater, Anthony Anderson, uh, and some other people. So that sounds like a fun cast to me. Hmm. 
2013. Hmm. Again, let me know if you've seen it. Got Daybreakers. V for Vendetta. Still have not seen it. Definitely need two. Triple X with Vin Diesel. Uh, Bill Zwecker of Fox TV says a total blast. I actually really agree. I thought this was a hell of a fun movie. A Knight's Tale. Heath Ledger. Family. Don't really know what that is. Mystic River, Clint Eastwood. I need to rewatch this because I really didn't like this a whole lot when I first saw it, but since then I've really enjoyed a few of Eastwood's films. Um, well, I guess mainly Million Dollar Baby and Gran Torino. Uh, I feel like maybe there's one other one I like quite a bit but. Um, Connie Nielsen and Aiden Quinn A Shine of Rainbows and for whatever reason I got two of those uh, you wouldn't think they'd do that but that would have been disappointing I got a ton of duplicates Christopher Lambert, Fortress, Fortress 2, Kurt Russell, Dark Blue, I haven't seen that. Uh, the Sisters, this is a movie that, um, that I've definitely seen a lot, uh, has a really pretty good cast, um, Elizabeth Banks, Maria Bello. Erica Christensen, Mary Stewart Masterson, Eric McCormick. Don't know anything about it, though. Here's a movie that, when this came out, I was actually, like, mad at it. Um, it just, like, came off a string of where, like, a lot of really high-quality independent films were not releasing in my area. And it really upset me that this ridiculous piece of crap movie got released. In my opinion, without having seen it, that's my that's that's my opinion. Um, it just aggravated me. Like I'm just like, man, how does Midnight Special? I, and I'm not sure it was Midnight Special, but that's one that was not released where I'm at, and it really disappointed me. It seemed like it had a good audience here, or would have had, and uh, stuff like this gets released. Bucky Larson, born to be a star. Are you kidding me? Look at that ridiculous crap. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy to me. Anyhow. Being Julia... This looks pretty interesting. I don't know what this is. Stealing Sinatra. And it's David Arquette, William H. Macy, and Thomas Ian Nicholas. Uh, that's from American Pie, right? Thomas Ian Nicholas. What's a little kidnapping among friends? Hmm. I don't know. Pretty interesting sounding. I am really running out of room here. I'm going to get this one because I can see these. Dinner with Friends. Um, another really great cast here from the director of Moonlight. Uh, Dennis Quaid, Andy McDowell, Greg Kinnear, and Tony Collette. Uh, I haven't watched that, but um, I don't know. That cast makes me want to watch it. Skills like this. Everybody wants to be somebody. 
uh, a film by Monty Miranda. I don't quite know what that is. If anybody knows, let me know. Uh, crazy on the outside. Tim Allen. Hmm. Bright night. And at first I thought, oh boy, that's good. I thought this was the original Fright Night, and I actually just picked this up at this booth. But this is the remake, and so now I have the original and the remake. Clear History. Larry David, Bill Hader, John Hamm, Kate Hudson, Michael Keaton, Danny McBride, Eva Mendez, and Amy Ryan. Hmm. Interesting. Alien Armageddon. Another Edwin Drood. A single man. Nicholas Holt, uh, Colin Firth, Julianne Moore. You know, interesting. The best and the brightest. No Patrick Harris and Bonnie Somerville. Not much about that one. Oh, here's a good one. Again, it's just too bad that they put this Cleveland Public Library stuff on here, but... Um, the Way, Way Back. Not The Way Back, and not the other The Way Back, but The Way, Way Back. Uh, Steve Carell, Tony Collette, Allison Janney, Anna Sophia Robb, Sam Rockwell, Maya Rudolph, and Liam James. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Um, saw this in theaters and was really, really, really blown away with it. Uh, I like Sam Rockwell a lot in it. Uh, just a fun time, I think. Um, good stuff. One of the year's best films says Pete Hammond movie line. I agree. Al Pacino, 88 Minutes. Is anybody there? Uh, Michael Caine. Another single man. Uh, okay, we're on our last few here. The Jane Austen Book Club. A Cross to Bear. And the King, Swedish Auto, Secret in Their Eyes, The Big Cube, I don't know what that is, again yeah, looks great but I don't really know what that is. Um, and another the way way back and that's a let down the last one's another jane austen book club okay so i'm going to try to put these back in here and just make sure see how many we really had Let's see. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong because you can put some in between, maybe. But if not, it seems like there's not 70 here. But we'll see.
No, this isn't particularly cinematic, but if you're like me, you'll be wondering, well, was there really 70 there? Or was there 80? So we'll just find out. So what was your favorite film that we got here? Um, I know for me, probably the way, way back would be. Probably. Okay, so right now I got 68 in the box. We got 70, 72, 74, 76. So yeah, 79. So yeah, we did get it. Um, almost 80. So yeah. So there you have it. 14 bucks. I mean, if I can sell any of that somehow or another. Um, I'm doing good, right? Um, so, and there's definitely some stuff in there I'm gonna keep. Um, I definitely will look at look at that Robert De Niro and Paul Dano movie, um, Being Flynn, I think it was. Uh, the Way Way Back is definitely a movie I want to keep until I can get it on Blu-ray. Um, Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping. Uh, probably keep that. Hot Rod, I want to see. Fright Night. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's definitely some stuff in there, right, uh, that I'll keep and enjoy. Um, I'm sure there's 14 movies in there that I'll keep, and uh, so, you know, at a buck a piece, and then I got some extras. Even if it's just extra cases, like I said before, um, 20 cents a piece, you know, it is what it is, right? I could probably sell it for empty cases for 20 cents a piece, maybe. I, I mean, I've never done that, so I don't know, but it seems like it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm happy with that. Um, a little long here. Sorry guys. Uh, I, I do hope you enjoyed this. I know this is something that we're going to be seeing a little bit with some other channels, like I said. So, uh, you know, yeah, if you're interested in this, um, I'm sure at some point down to movies going to have one. It sounds like Joe Martinez is going to have one at some point too. Um, so yeah. There's my mystery box. Let me know. Was it fourteen dollars worth? Was it worth fourteen dollars? I think it definitely was. Um, yeah, I think so. I think for sure it was. Um, I'm not like blown away or anything, but uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's some stuff in there that I don't even know that is fantastic. So I really want to hear from you guys. What what what's good in here? What should I definitely be taking a look at and? Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, we, we, yeah, but, you know, what, what's good? What's good in that box? Um, so thanks for watching. If you don't mind, thumbs up, and uh, I will catch you guys next time. And I for sure appreciate you watching. Uh, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.